Let's go to Canberra now. Joining us live, the Shadow Foreign Affairs Minister Simon Birmingham. Uh, Simon, good to see you. Thanks for your time. Let's start, though, with uh, your Morning, reaction Pat. to the King's health this morning and his shock cancer diagnosis. I'm sure many Australians will wake with shock when they hear uh, the news of the King's cancer diagnosis. And, of course, all will want to send their best wishes and thoughts to King Charles for his treatment and hope that his treatment is effective in enabling him to be able to resume his duties fully and, uh, and continue... Uh, hopefully a long and successful reign. True. To local matters now, Simon, and the fate of Yang Heng Jun, China's foreign ministry has claimed overnight that his court trial was held in strict accordance of the law and Australia was allowed to sit in on his sentencing. Your thoughts on those comments? Well, Australia was denied access to his trial. There has been a lack of transparency all along. For more than five years, Dr Young has faced unjust process and unjust detention and now faces a potential lifetime of unjust detention. Uh, this is a real reality check moment in relation to, uh, to the relationship uh, and underscoring the fact that we have vastly different systems of democracy and of justice. Uh, but in the case of Dr Young, we must make sure that he remains at the absolute forefront uh, of all Australian engagement with China uh, and that the advocacy on his behalf is strong, is vocal and persistent. So what is the, the right approach now, Simon? Loud diplomacy? I think it is important that the outrage felt across Australia is heard very clearly in Beijing. Uh, now, of course, we will make sure that each step is calibrated uh, and we have to do so in a way uh, that puts his best interests first and foremost, uh, but it is critical uh, that his case is not allowed uh, to slip from view or from mind, uh, but is actually prosecuted continuously at the highest levels of government in every single part of the Albanese government's engagement okay. with Beijing. Will the coalition support the government's revised stage three tax cuts? We'll conclude our party processes in the normal way. Uh, we only got this legislation on Sunday, and so we will be working through it have started working through it and we'll conclude that in the usual course of events. Uh, but ultimately, and this is a band-aid for Australians who are uh, on average some $8,000 per person worse off uh, under the Labor government thanks to inflation, to interest rates, to bracket creep, uh, to the mismanagement of the economy by the Albanese government. Uh, and Australians are going to see uh, that this broken promise uh, by Anthony Albanese where he is reshuffling the coalition's tax reforms into uh, a much milder form of tax uh, rejig uh, is not going to do much other than provide a band-aid for the bulk of Australians over a gaping wound in their personal finances and household incomes uh, that they are suffering from. Mm. Uh, Australians will go to the next election, whatever happens with these tax changes, knowing that the coalition stands for tax reform, for lower taxes, and can be trusted okay. to deliver that. So on Whereas that, Anthony Albanese wouldn't even be doing this if these tax cuts hadn't been legislated by the Liberal and National Party. So on time. that, Simon, what changes, what reform are you considering to take to the next election? Uh, well, we will outline all of that uh, at okay. the time of the next election. Do you rule out? Do it. you rule uh, out a return to the get... flat thirty percent tax bracket between forty-five and two hundred thousand? Though, do you rule that out? We will stand for lower, simpler, fairer taxes uh, and we will want to see uh, the type of pursuit of a tax system that incentivises work, which is what Stage 3 tax cuts absolutely sought to do. Uh, the Labor government, the Albanese government, is abandoning tax reform uh, by junking the tax cuts as they were because, indeed, that abolition of the 37 cent in the dollar tax bracket uh, would have seen the vast majority of Australians no longer face the threat of bracket creep in their working lives. And the consequence of uh, Labor keeping the 37 cent in the dollar tax bracket is actually Labor undertaking a tax grab. Anthony Albanese is going to take an extra $28 billion mm. out of the pockets of hard-working Australians okay. Why not take by that out keeping then? the 37 the next cent. Election. And we will, we will release our policies okay. uh, in the lead-up to the next election. Costed, properly developed... All of the steps you would expect uh, an alternative okay. government to take, uh, which is what we'll be outlining. OK. Simon Birmingham, good to have you with us as always. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon.